All right, let's take a quick look at 3i of the factoring review. I notice in here that I've got this binomial, this 2y minus 1 that seems to be common here. I don't know what y is, so I don't know what 2y minus 1 is. I'm just going to make it a, just so I can simplify this expression. So this first term is going to become, is going to equal 9a squared minus 12a plus 4. And I can work with that. That's, I, I'll solve that, the, or, or factor the quadratic part of this thing first, and then deal with the little, the little linear uh, binomial in there afterwards. So I'm looking for two numbers whose product, or sorry, I should say numbers, two terms, whose product is 36a squared. That's the 9a squared times the 4, and whose sum is negative 12a. So two values whose pro uh, product, or two terms whose product is 36a squared, and whose sum is negative 12a. I think about that for a little bit, uh, but 36, I mean, the square root of 36 is 6, and I think that's the factors that, that come to your head most quickly. And negative 6a and negative 6a combine to get you negative 12a. So I put my binomial factors down, but I remember that that negative 6a, negative 6a, those are not necessarily terms in those binomials. That's the outer and the inner product. So I'm looking for now for two values here, two terms whose product would be 9a squared because they have to multiply together to get that first term. But then the first term and this last term also have to have a product of negative 6a. So this one right here has to be a factor of 9a squared and negative 6a. Now don't worry about that negative. Put whatever's going to happen with that negative, that should end up over here, okay, in this second term. But the largest factor of both of those is 3a. And if this first term here is 3a, that means this term here is 3a. And then if this term here is 3a, I just follow this down here. The outside terms have to have a product of negative 6a. Well, there's the a, there's the 3, so this has got to be negative 2. And then these two inside terms here also have to have a product of negative 6a. And by the same reasoning, that's got to be negative 2 as well. Now, once that's done, I will erase that little bit of help that I gave myself. And now I'll do the substitution, okay? I'm going to put the, get rid of the a and put back in that 2y minus 1. So this will be 3 times 2y minus 1 minus 2. 3 times 2y minus 1 minus 2. Now I know that those are identical, okay? But um, I'm leaving them separate right now for a, po uh, for a reason, just in, in case there's a problem I run into in a bit here. If there's any additional factor, I just want to be aware, make sure that I'm seeing it. If I multiply this out, I'm going to get 6y, and then this will become minus 3 minus 2, so minus 5. Now, take a quick look at that. There's nothing common between those two. I already know that that second term is going to do the exact same thing, so you know what? I'm just going to write that as squared. That'll be how I'll, I'll deal with that one. I'm not going to worry uh, about any like writing it again. And the reason for that is if, if there had been something I could factor out of that, I might have been smarter to leave those separate, but because there isn't, there's, there's no big deal. I can just write it with a square.